Thin Blue Line Radio, Monthly Roll Call, July. 1970, the 21st of July, Police Constable Leslie Thomas Sears, aged 28, South Wales Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision while on traffic patrol. 1971, the 1st of July, Police Constable Ronald Boxley, aged 30, West Mercia Constabulary, killed when his patrol car was involved in a road traffic collision. 23rd of July, Detective Constable Ian Coward, QPM, aged 28, Thames Valley Constabulary, fatally wounded when shot nine times attempting to arrest an armed suspect, posthumously awarded the Queen's Police Medal for gallantry. 1972, the 16th of July, Constable Robert David Laverty, aged 18, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot when ambushed by terrorist gunmen on mobile patrol. The 21st of July, Reserve Constable Robert John M. Gibson, aged 57, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist bomb at a bus station where he worked. The 22nd of July, Police Constable Peter Charles Guthrie, QPM, aged 21, Warwickshire and Coventry Constabulary, shot dead trying to arrest a suspect who had broken into a gun shop, posthumously awarded the Queen's Police Medal for gallantry. 1973, the 26th of July, Sergeant Stuart Will, aged 38, Metropolitan Police, drowned attempting to rescue a girl from the sea while on holiday. 1974, the 6th of July, Police Constable John Schofield, aged 27, Surrey Constabulary, shot dead by a suspect he and two colleagues had stopped at night. The 26th of July, Police Constable David Robert Brown, aged 31, West Midlands Police, killed in a road traffic collision while on motorcycle patrol. 1975, the 7th of July, Detective Constable Andrew Johnston, aged 26, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist booby trap bomb left at a school burglary. The 17th of July, Police Constable David Christopher Green, aged 20, West Midlands Police, fatally stabbed while attempting an arrest during a street disturbance. 19th of July, Police Constable James Easton Berwick, aged 54, Tayside Police, collapsed and died at the Ard Coyley Police House while on early turn duty. The 26th of July, Constable Robert John McPherson, aged 25, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while investigating two suspects, posthumously awarded a Queen's Commendation for brave conduct. 1976, the 2nd of July, Police Constable Colin Clive Nichols, aged 38, West Midlands Police, while on duty was seriously injured in a road traffic collision from which he died. The 12th of July, Detective Inspector William George Heasley, aged 35, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed in a road collision when his police vehicle crashed. The 20th of July, Inspector Duncan McFarlane, aged 45, Strathclyde Police, collapsed and died on duty at the police traffic headquarters in Paisley. The 31st of July, Acting Constable Thomas Cush, aged 60, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by a terrorist sniper while on duty at a security barrier. The 31st of July, Police Constable Michael George Hewitt, aged 37, West Midlands Police, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while travelling to work. 1977, the 6th of July, Reserve Constable David James Morrow, aged 36, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot putting out traffic cones by terrorists in a passing vehicle. The 13th of July, 
Police Constable Leonard Allen Harding, age 28, Wiltshire Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision while on duty at Salisbury. The 14th of July, Police Constable Robert George Cross, age 33, Surrey Constabulary, killed when his patrol car crashed while pursuing suspect vehicles. 22nd of July, Police Constable Bernard Henry Church, age 45, West Midlands Police, collapsed at the station and died four months after an incident on duty. The 23rd of July, Sergeant Melvin Kenway Scott, age 32, Derbyshire Constabulary, fatally injured along with Police Constables Micklebur and Rowland, who died on the 7th of December 1976, when their police driving vehicle was in collision with a lorry. The 24th of July, Detective Constable John Edgar Irvin, aged 29, West Mercia Constabulary, killed in a car crash when he swerved to avoid a child while attending a call. 1979, the 27th of July, Reserve Constable, retired, James Wright, aged 48, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed by a terrorist undercar booby trap bomb. The 30th of July, Sergeant William Mervyn C. Williams, age 36, Dufford Powys Police, killed in a road traffic collision while on duty at Llanelli. The 31st of July, Constable George Samuel Walsh, aged 50, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot while sat in a police car by terrorists in a passing vehicle. 1981, the 4th of July, Police Constable Raymond Davenport, age 35, Merseyside Police, fatally injured when dragged by a stolen car as he tried to arrest the driver, posthumously awarded a Queen's Commendation for brave conduct. The 5th of July, Police Constable Malcolm Drummond Cavagin, age 35, Northumbria Police, died in hospital having been fatally injured in a road collision when returning home from duty on the 29th of June 1981. The 25th of July, Constable Martha Doreen E. Harkness, aged 22, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured when struck by a vehicle at a checkpoint. The 31st of July, Constable, retired, Thomas Harper, aged 30, Royal Ulster Constabulary, shot dead by terrorist gunmen. 1982, the 4th of July, Police Constable Peter James Ring, age 23, Essex Police, fatally injured in a fall through the roof of a premises he was searching. The 5th of July, Police Constable Joseph Doris, aged 30, Strathclyde Police, fatally injured in a police vehicle involved in a road traffic collision. The 9th of July, Police Constable Paul Crispin, aged 32, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary, fatally injured on a motorcycle course in a collision with a car. 1983, the 22nd of July, Police Constable Geoffrey David Phillips, aged 35, South Wales Constabulary, killed in a road collision while instructing on a motorcycle course. 1984, the 12th of July, Detective Constable Colin John Batchelor, aged 45, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, killed in a police car collision, returning from an investigation. 26th of July, Constable Ernest Thompson Caulfield, aged 29, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while travelling to duty. Police Constable Grant Clifford Sonnox, aged 26, Metropolitan Police, killed when his police car crashed while pursuing a stolen car. 1986, the 3rd of July, Police Constable Martin Bickersteth Bell, aged 27, Metropolitan Police, killed when his car was struck by a drunk driver pursued by police. The 8th of July, Acting Constable John William McVitie, age 46, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot in a terrorist ambush while off duty working in a field. 
the 21st of July, Police Constable Geoffrey Thomas Barnes, aged 43, West Midlands Police, killed in a road collision travelling to a motorcycle refresher course. The 25th of July, Constable Mark Loftus Buckley, aged 25, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision when going off duty. The 26th of July, Sergeant Peter John Kilpatrick, aged 27, Constable T. William Charles Allen, aged 37, Constable Carl C. Blackburn, aged 19, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen while in a stationary police car. The 28th of July, Police Constable David Andrew Sykes, aged 32, West Yorkshire Police, killed when his patrol car was hit by a lorry on the M62 hard shoulder. 1989, the 1st of July, Constable Norman Annett, aged 56, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally shot by terrorist gunmen off duty at home in front of his mother. The 24th of July, Reserve Constable Alexander Bell, aged 39, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed while on mobile patrol by the detonation of a terrorist car bomb. 1990, the 24th of July, Constable William James B. Hansen, aged 37, Reserve Constable David Sterritt, aged 34, Reserve Constable Joshua Cyril Willis, aged 35, Royal Ulster Constabulary, killed while on mobile patrol by the detonation of a terrorist landmine. 26th of July, Police Constable Nicholas David Palmer, aged 27, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, killed in a motorcycle collision while reporting for night duty. 1993, the 12th of July, Constable Francis John McFedris, aged 45, Royal Ulster Constabulary, died in hospital having collapsed on duty at Dundonald Police Station. The 15th of July, Police Constable Peter William Brian Betts, aged 50, Thames Valley Police, killed in a collision with a lorry while instructing on a motorcycle course. The 23rd of July, Police Constable Noel Charles Frick, aged 48, Metropolitan Police, killed in a road collision while on motorcycle surveillance duty. 1996, the 24th of July, Police Constable Michael Install, aged 53, West Midlands Police, collapsed and died while on duty in Park Lane. 1997, the 28th of July, Police Constable Paul Ralph Cotton, aged 38, Avon and Somerset Constabulary, died of injuries received in a road collision while cycling to duty. The 29th of July, Police Constable Mark Ian Flood, aged 32, Metropolitan Police, killed in a motorcycle collision while reporting for early turn duty. 1998, the 24th of July, Constable John Ivers, age 41, Royal Ulster Constabulary, fatally injured in a road traffic collision when travelling to duty. The 27th of July, Police Constable Michael John Brown, aged 34, Ministry of Defence Police, killed when thrown from a boat during training on the Firth of Clyde. 1999, the 13th of July, Police Constable Ralph Charles Jones, age 34, North Wales Police, fatally injured in a road collision on a motorcycle training course. The 22nd of July, Constable Andrew Morrison Taylor, aged 46, Royal Ulster Constabulary, collapsed and died while driving home from a late shift duty in Belfast. The 23rd of July, Police Constable Peter Thomas Fox, aged 31, Greater Manchester Police, killed in a motorcycle collision while travelling to report for duty. The 28th of July, Detective Constable Clive Barrett, aged 35, Suffolk Constabulary, fatally injured in a motorcycle collision while on surveillance duty. 2000, 19th of July, Detective Constable Bryn Russell Cook, aged 39, 
Avon and Somerset Constabulary, killed in a motorcycle collision while returning home after duty. 2001, the 17th of July, Police Constable David R. De Berg Thomas, age 40, Thames Valley Police, killed in a motorcycle collision on intelligent support team duties. 2003, the 24th of July, Police Constable Robert Ian Douglas, aged 44, Humberside Police, fatally injured in a road traffic collision, returning from duty at the airport. 2004, the 19th of July, Police Constable Mark Leach, aged 38, Cheshire Constabulary, killed in a motorcycle collision, returning home from night duty. 2005, the 10th of July, Police Constable Siobhan Murray M. McCann, aged 41, Police Service of Northern Ireland, fatally injured when her police vehicle went out of control and crashed. 27th of July, Police Constable Glenn Robinson, aged 46, North Yorkshire Police, killed in a motorcycle collision while travelling home from duty. 2006, the 19th of July, Police Constable Alan Shaw, aged 33, Greater Manchester Police, killed in a road traffic collision while taking part in VIP escort practice. 2011, the 31st of July, Police Constable Purvis Ahmed, aged 37, West Yorkshire Police, fatally injured the previous day when his motorcycle was in collision with a car at Armley while travelling home from duty in Wakefield. 2012, the 9th of July, Police Constable Ian Andrew Dibble, GM, aged 41, Essex Police, went off duty on Clacton on Sea, he had caused to intervene in a firearms incident close to his home. While attempting to disarm an armed man, he sustained a fatal gunshot wound to the chest, posthumously awarded the George Medal. A memorial stone was erected near the scene by the Police Memorial Trust. 2018, the 17th of July, Special Agent Noel Remagen, aged 42, US Secret Service, died two days after suffering a fatal stroke while on presidential protection duty in Ayrshire, Scotland. Thanks for listening to Thin Blue Line Radio's monthly roll call. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can find details of our upcoming Spotlight podcast, where we focus on one particular fallen officer. There's also our Through the Decades podcast, where we examine older cases from years gone by. You can also go to our website, thinbluelineradio.com, where you can learn more about us and what motivates us to promote the stories of fallen officers. There are also links to various welfare groups, and you can catch up with any podcasts you may have missed. If you'd like to contribute in any way, or if you're a family member wanting to be involved in us paying tribute, we'd love to hear from you. You can message us through Twitter or Facebook, or email askus at thinbluelineradio.com.